Okay, to start off with, I cut a few corners and I created a a terrain and just sculpted a few mountains for the background. Uh, nothing major, not even really necessary, uh, except for the terrain. Okay, so I'm going to bring the third person controller in, put him at 1. Is above the ground, and oh, we got to fix the animations. Idle. Walk. Run. Jump. Okay. Also, you'll notice I set up some folders for my folder structure, um, and I have, of course, the standard assets. I brought in the character controller and the terrain assets from import package, terrain assets, and character controller. I created an animations folder, materials, prefabs, scenes, and then I saved the current scene into the scenes folder scripts and I created a script um, it's one of the first scripts we need and I already opened Visual Studio as well just to save a little bit of time sounds and terrains I put the terrain file in the terrains folder okay so the first thing we're gonna do uh, as you can see on here we're gonna make a coin and make it animate so what I did was created a sphere. I'll press F to focus on it. And then I am pressing R to get the scale transformed. I'm going to scale it down to be skinny. And I'm holding the right mouse button and using WASD to navigate in the 3D space. Going to make it smaller and taller. And smaller again. That looks okay. And I also made it yellow in the demo but I think I'll make it red this time. I'm going to create a material, call it coin, put it in the materials folder, change the color to red, and drag it on there. Okay, so now to animate it, we need our animation window. It's going to be a pretty short animation that's just going to loop. So. We're going to. Okay. Click here, create new clip, save it, coin, coin spin, then we're going to rotate, that would be on the Y axis, so add curve, going to move it, to 15 frames and have it in 90 degrees or negative 90 and then 10 frames a keyframe Moving negative 180. 
and then other fifteen. Yeah, fifteen he frame fifteen and thirty. So every fifteen frames it goes ninety uh fifteen degrees. So at forty five it's going to be two seventy. A zero, go to frame 15, and we want keyframe, want this, oh we want the rotation. So we want it Okay, so I had the wrong thing selected when I was trying to modify the animation. So you want to have rotation dot y selected and we're gonna have a keyframe at 15, 30, 45, get rid of that one, 45, and one minute, let's see how that goes, so this one is going to be at 90, this one's going to be at 180, this one's going to be at 270. This one's going to be at 360. So it goes in a full circle, and then 0 is 360, so it will seamlessly animate. See? And it looks like it's a, on a little bit of a wobble, but that is fine. It's probably the camera angle. Yeah. Okay, so we have... Now it is kind of fast, but... I think that's fine. Um, you can modify it. You can expand, uh, stretch out the... the animation over two seconds so actually might as well just do that so see so that two minutes and a half or seconds these are seconds not minutes so do that and now it's a little bit slower and it still loops and looks fine. And this is saved in the coin spin. So I'm going to rename the sphere to coin. And then we are going. To, okay, it has its coin spin animation. And I'm going to 
drag this down to the prefab. So now we have a prefab and we can duplicate this as much as we want and uh, all of them will spin. So the next thing, there was something, okay. Okay, so we want to add an audio source, component, audio, audio source. And, okay, this is also where I can tell you where I got my sounds. There's this website, superflashbros.net slash as3sfxr. Uh, that URL will be in the description. But basically, this is a website, I believe I showed it on the last series. Um, it, it creates random noises and you can save them out as, we as WAV files and it's completely open source, royalty free, um, great way to create custom sounds. You can either do an 8-bit, 6-bit and at different hertz for quality. Um, it has generators of different uh, categories so I usually click this a few times and you can scroll through these and figure out one that you really like and you can save it out. I did this before so I'm actually going to bring in my two sounds I did before directly to my sounds folder. So those are my two sounds. And go to the coin, set the audio clip to that one. We're going to disable it so it doesn't play uh, right away. Um, we're going to keep play on awake on but it's not going to play until we en enable it via code. Uh, we also need a uh, box collider so when you run over it so that something actually happens. It has a sphere collider. Oh, it my apologies. It has a sphere collider we need to make it a trigger. That's it. And I'm going to apply that prefab. Okay, and the last, another thing we have to do is create the particle effect that will appear when you pick it up. The coin is going to disappear and little particles are going to appear and play for a second and then disappear. So for that, that is a, an effect particle system and we're gonna see pause that open editor Okay, so I put the particle effect editor, I docked it down here so I can see the the effect of our modifications right away. And so we want the particle in the demo I made the particle go up and then for very uh, short period of time. It can be a cone. I'm gonna rotate. No, that rotates the coin. Okay. Start rotation. Let's see, ninety. No that rotates the actual particles. Okay, I realize what I did. So, we're actually going to remove this particle system from the coin. We're going to create a an empty object. And we're going to 
call this coin pickup particle. We're going to add the particle to this component effects particle system. to rotate this 90 degrees or 90 negative 90 so it goes up like in the tutorial or in the demo lifespan speed is going to be one life is going to be one it's going to be a the shape is going to be a cone with a zero angle And max particles is going to be 10. That's going to shrink it a lot. Start size about 0.2. Speed 0.5. And the radius, I'm going to make that smaller too. I press W to get the transform tool, so I'm going to bring it down here near the coin. Looks about right. So what's going to happen in code, we're going to on trigger enter it's going to play the sound destroy the coin object then generate the particle object and then let it die after a second so duration it's not going to loop it's going to play a couple and then die and I'll just leave them white uh, color you can change the color, you can modify this however you want. This is just how it's going to be in this uh, tutorial. So, coin pickup, I'm going to drag this down to the prefabs. And I'm at a little over 18 minutes. I think I will finish in the next video. Alright, see you in the next.